Dubai has received several architectural awards, including the world's tallest building, the world's biggest mall, and the world's biggest indoor theme park. However, this could possibly be the most ambitious project to date, the construction of a Martian metropolis. In 2017, the United Arab Emirates revealed its intention to occupy Mars over the next 100 years, and now architects are beginning to imagine what a Martian metropolis may look like. When it comes to the colonization of Mars, the Emirates are on the same page as Elon Musk. In the following century, they hope to have a human population on the surface of the Red Planet. Architecture firm Pierre Kingyo's group has been commissioned to develop Mars Science City, a prototype for what will eventually become a hyper-futuristic research facility. Oh, and it will be built in the desert outside of Dubai for those who are interested. The initial plan for the Mars Science City was to cover 176,000 square meters of desert and cost a whopping 495 million dirham. It was meant to serve as a technological space for Dubai's Mohammed bin Rashid Space Center, which would be used to research technologies that would be required for Mars colonization. The architects were tasked with designing a city prototype that would be able to support life on Mars and then adapting it for usage in the desert surrounding Dubai. They must conquer the enormous difficulty of designing a structure that will make the harsh climate on Mars habitable in order to complete this extremely one-of-a-kind project. It appears to be very straightforward, doesn't it? There is no shortage of ideas when it comes to constructing the ultimate Martian environment, ranging from spider-like buildings to entire cities constructed completely of fungus. The issue, however, is how will humanity be able to thrive in this environment? When you consider that the average temperature on Mars is a frigid minus 63 degrees Celsius and that the atmosphere there is quite thin, it becomes a bit more difficult. Because of the thin atmosphere and low air pressure, liquids readily evaporate into gas on Mars, even at freezing temperatures. A person's blood would boil on Mars if they're not wearing protective clothing. With that in mind, how would colonization be achievable at all? Answer: The Martian city will comprise pressurized biodomes. Humans and other life forms from Earth would be able to live there once the temperatures within these domes are brought down to habitable. Incorporating an insulating substance into these structures will trap the heat emitted by the sun and prevent it from escaping at an excessive rate. Polyethylene is a remarkably lightweight material that not only serves as an excellent insulator, but is also nearly indestructible. It explains why Björk Ingels will be utilizing a translucent polyethylene membrane that allows the sun to pass through while still retaining solar heat within the structure. Be that as it may, a habitat alone will not protect humans from the hostile Martian climate. Electrolysis will be used on the red planet's water ice to separate oxygen from hydrogen in the water molecules, as sending massive tanks over from Earth on a rocket isn't exactly the greatest or most cost-effective option. It's not as if the hydrogen will be wasted, as it may be used as rocket fuel. Oxygen would be pumped into each biome by applying electricity to underground ice. This would allow the city to maintain a comfortable temperature and habitable air pressure. Perhaps life on Mars isn't as far-fetched after all. When the population of the Red Planet expands, biodomes would be connected together to form villages and eventually cities in the form of rings or tauruses. Solar energy would be used to power and heat the metropolis, and the thin atmosphere might actually assist in keeping the domes at a constant temperature throughout the year. Construction of buildings under the domes would be done by using Martian soil, and the chambers would be 20 feet beneath the surface, providing protection from dangerous radiation and meteorites. Some of the design elements are even a touch whimsical, which isn't unusual for an otherworldly theme. In the future on Mars, you would have skylights in your underground cave that would be like aquariums, with fish swimming about. In addition to providing radiation protection, the water windows would also enable light to penetrate the subterranean chambers. In contrast to the Martian environment, domes on Earth would not require pressurization or oxygen supply, and structures would be 3D printed from sand instead of Martian soil. However, the water skylights would still be present, powered by solar energy as well as electricity. Among its amenities, Mars Science City will feature an educational institution, a museum, an amphitheater, and a co-working office space. As of now, there is no indication of when work will begin or when the facility will be opened.